Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan and in this video we shall understand one of the new feature introduced in C Sharp 6.0 called as Primary Constructors. It is a new feature that is available in all the new programming languages such as F Sharp, Scala, Kotlin, etc. And this feature has been now newly introduced in C Sharp 6.0 also. So what is this primary constructor means? It allows us to define a constructor for a type and capture the constructor parameters to use in initialization expression throughout the rest of the type definition. The syntax for this particular thing is we can take a class class name and then the parameters and whatever might be the statements that we wanted to write we can just write this statement. Now let's try to first understand how we used to work before C Sharp 6.0 and then we shall understand how to convert that C Sharp prior version code to C Sharp 6.0 with the support of primary constructor. Let me open my Visual Studio.net. So I just go for my file menu, new project. I select my console application and I give a name for this thing like say PC demo. Now, first let's try to understand how do we use this particular thing. So to start with this, what I try to do is before C Sharp 6.0, say that we would like to have a class, so public class department. We used to define some properties, department number, department name, location, and then to initialize it, we take a constructor which accepts some parameters and this constructor will be used to initialize the values. Okay, this is going to be used. So before C Sharp 6.0, this is how we used to write it. Now from C Sharp 6.0 with the support of primary constructor, let's try to understand how effectively we can reduce this code. So to do this, let me first comment this previous code. Now I try to say using C Sharp 6.0 primary constructors. Let me say that public class department. Here I define the variables like department number, department name and the location. So while defining this class itself, we will try to define this particular thing by passing it as a parameter. Now in the previous video, I explained a concept called as auto property initializer. Let me try to use this and let's try to initialize it. So public int department number auto property initializer will have only getter but not setter. So I am trying to assign this value. Then I say public string dname a getter and I just assign this thing. And a location LOC. So in this way we can just try to write it. The code what we used to write in the previous version in this way, now with the support of C Sharp 6.0 primary constructors, it can be reduced to this extent. If you just try to observe it, we are getting some particular error here. Let me just try to hover the mouse to check out what is the error. So it says that this feature is primary constructor is only available in experimental language version. So what I try to do is, I just open this folder, it 
let me open this file with the support of a notepad and before I close the property group I try to add one statement saying that language version experimental and I close the language version let me close this file and also I just close my visual studio dot net now I just try to open my application with the support of my C sharp project so once the project is open we can just try to observe it the error has been resolved okay now I can just use the same thing like say department dpt equal to new department I can say 10 sales for example hyd and I can just display the information as per the requirement location 2 so I can just simply say dpt dot department number dpt dot d name and dpt dot location so it's quite simple and easy so when we try to define some class with the support of primary constructor the code what we used to write in the previous version like this can be reduced to this extent okay now the point that we have to understand is when we try to define this there is a provision that is available for us such that I can define a variable say something like local variable and I can just assign this value so this is going to be useful for taking this information and it can be used for any local variables and this is intelligent enough say that I just wanted to give the same name then it will understand which is a local variable and which is a parameter of my constructor that's available for us okay so now what we can do is and this you can just try to observe it it is identified as a local variable itself okay so hope this particular video given you a clear understanding of primary constructor in the next video I will explain how to use an explicit constructors along with primary constructors of C sharp 6.0 if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel this encourages me to develop more and more videos thank you yours shaker